Okay, so friggin' uh, let's see if we can't uh, find a chainsaw. I saw it. I friggin' saw it. Stick her out of there. Well, this is what we're dealing with. Just put uh, some fuel on it. MS-170. Piece of shit. So, uh... She should have just fired it up. So this is what we're dealing with here. Got the friggin' uh, little program going on. The roof deck, but uh, got this here tree growing out my foundation there. So it's got to go. So we'll holy, a bit of a blow on the wheelbarrow there for freak's sake. But anyways, we'll get the old uh, saw fired up here and we'll chop this here down. Well, it got the friggin' tree down there, but uh, I was gonna cut up the branches and it's different things, and uh, she got snagged up on a little in there and just tore the friggin' blade right off her, so I'll have to pull the cover off there and put the blade back on it. Freak's sake. But, anyways, got the roof deck here, putting some flashings on some different things and stuff, so friggin' rights. Hopefully, this uh, leak situation here, or dog piss, or whatever it uh, ends up being, uh, stops. So that's how much uh, water chatched through the friggin' roof. A uh, bucket and a bit from over here. She's supposed to thunder and lightning in, uh, tomorrow, so friggin' uh, that'll be a good test. But I emptied out all the buckets and uh, it really only leaked over here when it was really driving rain, eh? Like the other day, it was really just giving her. But hopefully uh, we got her all fixed up there and uh, any more moisture on the ground, I can blame it on the dogs. Look at. Freak's sake. But so then I was just cleaning up the uh, shrapnel from the from the wire and stuff and got a little carried away. I stripped a couple pieces. There's some pieces on the desk there. I stripped them and then, so look at this. I got like these two little bundles of wire, right? So, okay, whatever, freaking, but the neighbor gave me two of these little guys here, right? So I crack them open and say, oh, I saw some shiny stuff in there. So. There was these two little things, I don't know why I'm telling you this, you're not going to believe me anyway, but all that friggin' wire, like uh, that took a while to friggin' roll up. That was probably, there's probably 60 feet of it there, and uh, I don't know, I walked from, from here over there, I don't know, 10 times and rolled it up. But, uh, so yeah, friggin' rights, them little things, they got good coppers in them, and I just stabbed it onto my screwdriver so I could just unravel it more easier. So, like that's got, you know, a little bit of weight to it for frig's sake. There's not much left of her. But uh, there's all these little plates in there. One was going, where the hell did I do with it? You know, they'd have a plate going in there this way and then one going this way and one going this way and one going this way all the way down. So I just kind of put it on a hangle and kind of whacked it a couple directions with the hammers and then they all separated. And then there's like these little stupid things in their little spacers and stuff. They'd probably be good for 
for shims or something if you, you know, need to shim some stuff. But frig sake, kind of makes me want to friggin' uh, crack into this one. But uh, it's gonna rain tomorrow, so I can do all this inside shit tomorrow. I better get outside and and start uh, loading the trailer. It's uh, supposed to not be too bad on Saturday when it's the dump day, but uh, the next uh, couple days, Thursday and Friday, it's supposed to rain like a hoor, so I'm gonna pick up a bunch of just shit that's uh, garbage and uh, get it out of here, and then we cheached. So anyways, I couldn't help myself. I had to crack open the next one, but uh, like I we already started it there, but just a few quick taps with the with the friggin' hammer, and then all these friggin' all these friggin' things just pop right out, and then you're just left with with this like friggin' uh, tape covered friggin' thing. You just peel tape off there and uh, expose the treasures. So now see, it's got uh, one thick. It's got one thick for frig sakes here, and one thin one, eh? So just find where it starts and. Start unraveling her. And then you can uh, just tuck in the little end there. Just get her going. Wind her around your, your friggin' antlers there a couple times. Oh crap, that one friggin' broke. That's no good. The other one stayed whole the whole friggin' time. Maybe we started at the wrong end. Yeah, it looks like it. Frig sake. Start at the wrong end, boys. So anyways, start at the other end, and then uh, you cheat. Well, for frig sakes, boys, while I was pissing around, I figured a better way to get it off there. Just uh, whack the top a couple times with a friggin' hammer, and uh, she'll just friggin' right come out. So, friggin' rates, that's way more easier. Look at this. It was way faster. She just decompobulated big times. Ta-da. There, she's cooperating with me now for frig's sake, so This is that crazy red kind. I like that kind. That's just crazy the amount of wire that's coming off of this friggin' thing for frig's sake. My client. My clients, boys. But, uh, anyways, scrap metal corners, boys. So, anyways, I got my starve on here, so I'm gonna cook up some friggin' pizza on the barbecue later. For sake. Hello, that kind. Well, I was just waiting for um, a pizza to cook there and I just couldn't help myself. So there's insulations. Look at that. That's a friggin' good piece right there. I got that from the neighbor for frig's sake. Friggin' right, buddy. Looks like he's got more uh, more stuff for pug ones. Yeah. Can you hear that? Probably not. It just stopped. Windier as friggin' out, boys. Gonna just piss poor rain. It's thundering and lightning and out. So it's a good uh, good time to check out, uh, see if the roof's friggin' fixed or not. Well, she's a good test for the roof. Oh crap. Bit of lightning. Son of a bitch. That's pretty decked. So we'll see how much uh, water comes in uh, when we get here in the morning. Take my part. Look at that little son of a bitch. Look at him. Ah, oh, beg my part. Look at the friggin' mess you're making, you sons of bitches. Look at this. It's like they're just stuffing things in the hole, thinking that they're going to be able to build a nest on the end of the pipe or something, just dumping it all in my shack here. Oh, friggin', I need those. I lost those a long time ago. Yeah, but uh, she's looking a little drier. Not, not so much water in the buckets. I emptied them out yesterday. So, uh, yeah. Seemed to hold off so far, anyways. Oh, she was freaking pouring last night, boys, holy. And uh, you're probably not gonna believe this either, but I uh, spent a couple hours last night freaking cleaning up my uh, workbench. That's clean. Uh, that's clean right there, look. Tape measure collection. Some of them, anyway. That's all I could find, but. Oh my goodness. 
just dickered. But it's freezing cold in here, and I gotta get a fire going and do some uh, work outside quick before it uh, rains. Supposed to friggin' thundering and lightning and all day today, so for frig's sake. Oh, this is major league friggin' bull crap here, boys. It's friggin' freezing or is cold out. It's friggin' raining or is frig out and different things. Friggin' dump days tomorrow, so frig's sake. Bothered the friggin' of polyester, told him there's like a super street beer drinking friggin' competition going down over here and he better change his clothes because friggin' he's probably gonna barf all over himself, but really we're gonna go and shovel out the friggin' uh, fire pit there. So he's probably just up and not gonna show up because he, he friggin' he knows. Look, no polyester. So anyways, polyester freaked me over. He uh, didn't fall for my friggin' uh, drinking friggin' situation trick, but uh, I should show you the text messages he sent me. He's a master at uh, excuses, but uh, freaking guy sent uh, old Pat over. You know, the guy across the road with the Dodge there, for freak's sake. So we loaded up the drywall and different things. So they got a bunch of mattresses and couches and crap. They're loading on big son of a bitch right now. But uh, I had to cheat. Beg my pardon. Oh, my bucket collection, boys. My, my, my bucket collection. Well, we got. Uh, Big stack of piss mattresses. I never seen so much piss in my life come out of friggin' mattress. I don't know if how good you can see it, but friggin' oh, look at it. Just piss just running out of it. Mmm. Oh wow, that's a good shot right there. Good good shot of the piss. Well, so now I got another friggin' problem for freak's sake. My uh, trailer uh, battery, when I went to uh, dump all that scrap metals, it barely friggin' uh, barely chooched. Like if it had one even chooch less friggin' voltage into where it would, I would have had to hand bomb all that crap out of there. But anyways, I got like friggin' seven Optimas, five reds and two yellows. So, you know, that's probably the time to get yourself one of them Optima friggin' battery chargers because I, I hooked this guy up to it and then I'm standing here, you know, pissing around with my chit and stuff. and. I could hear like sizzling and I put my ear to it and this one here, that one there, was just friggin' boiling. You, you could hear it. So I'm just putting a charge on this one. It's uh, still good or whatever. It was reading weak on the on the program there so I just uh, put her on slow charge for an hour and then test it and see and uh, hopefully it'll at least dump once for frig's sake but uh, must have some sort of corroded connection or friggin' blown fuse and big son of a bitch or something because Hims, uh, Hims isn't charging trailer battery no more. So I think I'm going to look into getting me one of them uh, Optima friggin' battery chargers. They're like 200 bucks or something, so it's not too bad, you know. Friggin' uh, you're not boiling your batteries, you know what I mean? And uh, it can like restorulate them too. It can like, you know, refazulate them properly so, as, you know, you can like, you know, if they're totally dead and they're dicked and you can't get them to work, and then all of a sudden you hook them up to this guy and it works. So friggin' right, so probably try and sell uh, sell this guy. Friggin' uh, friggin' Schumacher there. Friggin' sell my Schumacher and get me an Optima. Yeah. Well, anyways, boys, I got the trailer all leveled out uh, yesterday and different things. It was just rainier and windier as frig, so, uh, you know, it was soft rain, and I went out and friggin' pissed around with that and stuff, and that's what I used. I friggin' had it buried, like, on a hangle, like, I don't know, five or six inches deep on that end, so she just barely was able to friggin' lift her. There wasn't enough room to jab a board under there. I tried that kind, but anyways. Hopefully this friggin' weather frigs off soon and uh, I can get, uh, get some of my shit organized here. Like, you know, some of the stuff I want to keep in here, but you know, a lot of it just, it's just gotta go. Like all this duct work and fire friggin' places and friggin' big dirty's old exhaust. and Like holy bud, the stupid, tr like holy, you know what I mean? All my friggin' projects that I'm friggin', you know, not gonna be working on for months and months and months probably. So anyways, that should be friggin' exciting or as frig, but uh, anyways, I think that's pretty much it. I got to uh, dump off the piss mattress load tomorrow. Hopefully this friggin' battery oh, friggin' holds a charge enough to dump her because I really don't want to friggin' be hand bombing no piss mattresses, buds. But uh, anyways, there you go, another Dicker Pug 1 production. So until tomorrow. Don't let the watchers get you.